these are things that are starting to be applied to areas where they haven't been done very much or at all. Um, so in like understanding visual art in new ways or, you know, learning about really confusing behaviors like dance or like religion and that kind of thing, you know, things that are things that seem to be out of the reach of science are starting to become within reach. And that's that's really exciting. Yeah, it, it seems like a time when when you describe projects to people, there are two simultaneous reactions, one of which is like, wait, we don't already have that. Like Sam and I correspond very frequently with this guy, Quentin Atkinson, who is a part of all of these crazy projects where they like digitize and create databases out of, for example, characterizing the grammar of every single language in the world or, or characterizing um, the phonology the of list, all the languages. The word, list, the, the word language, list, yeah, 250 words from every single language to create a phylogeny of how all of these languages are related. And at once you're like, whoa, that is a prodigious effort. And on the other hand, you're like, wait, we don't know. We don't know how all of these languages are related. Haven't people been working on this for like hundreds of years? 